And welcome back to the show. I said this earlier, and I'm going to just repeat it one more time in case you came in late. The goal of this show is not to sell you Bitcoin. I don't have any Bitcoin to sell you. I'm not going to have an ad on the show where to go buy Bitcoin like you see with the, the people selling the gold, having gold commercials. I only want to educate you about Bitcoin. That's it. I just bring on guests who are in the Bitcoin world, different guests that can educate you from different angles. Hopefully, one of these angles will enlighten you. And maybe one day you'll be standing around and someone is talking about Bitcoin and you find yourself knowing more about Bitcoin than anybody in the room. That's my goal. So let's get back with Madex talking about Bitcoin, talking about bull Bitcoin, talking about Madex art. And I, and I like your, I like your uh, train of thought there. When Madex art becomes uh, a worldwide phenomenon, the, uh, basically that's how I'm phrasing it, we're going to be able to know what was your early artwork from the Bitcoin on the wallets there. That's a good way to, to, to time that and authenticate that. Um, because by that time, I would think, well, maybe not. Maybe it's tomorrow. So I'm not, I'm not thanking you. But by the time you become uh, the equivalent of maybe uh, Picasso or Warhol or somebody, Bitcoin is going to be so high that if someone's making fake Bitcoin, fake art of yours, they're gonna to have to buy a lot of Bitcoin to put on the back, um, first of all. And so I, th I thought that was a very clever idea. I, I didn't put it in that, I didn't realize why you were doing the um, open dime on the back. I didn't understand the system, but that makes a lot of sense. And at the moment, it's not a ton of Bitcoin, but if Bitcoin does what we all think it'll do, someday it will be a lot of Bitcoin, or a lot of money, or a lot of fiat. I have the ability to airdrop Bitcoin to all of the pieces that um, have been distributed to the world. So I have a collection of all the addresses to all the open dimes. Um, so at any time, I could choose to increase the value of my work. I didn't even think about that. You could do airdrops and all of a sudden, instead of however many sats are on here, could be 10 times as much. I mean, or even more. So... Yeah, you've thought this out, obviously. Um, so how, how long have you been into doing the art part? Because I, I brought you on here for that, but since we went into bull Bitcoin, I wanted to cover that. So I want to cover more of the art. Have you always been doing art? When did you start saying, I'm going to move into Bitcoin art compared to your regular art? Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, well, I would say, I mean, like right now, I found a very nice, nice uh, kind of niche foothold in the Bitcoin space, and it is where I derive the most pleasure from creating work. Um, but I'm not a Bitcoin artist. I'm an artist, and I've been creating all my life, and I've been doing um, art shows since 2015. Um, and I guess all that started was just Somewhere uh, I got the information to start with my strengths when I was kind of beginning my own uh, entrepreneurial journey. And uh, my strengths had always just been design, um, uh, illustration, and, uh, and any, anything to do with the arts. Like, And so I kind of started to figure out how I could build um, a career around those skills. Um, and then... I really liked kind of the idea of when I looked out into the art world, I kind of noticed that sort of because of what's happened with modern art and uh, the kind of the reduction of um, celebrating talented and skilled creators, um, I saw kind of an opening where it was like, well, I can come in here and... Uh, kind of make artists rock stars again and uh, really kind of bring back sort of respect for the arts because in the Renaissance era, and I mean, way back when we were on hard money standards, um, the artist was the most important character in, in any project. So in anything that was being created or anything that was being made, um, an artist was instrumental uh, to that project. So, you know, the architects and, and engineers and the artists are what made the European cathedrals possible. 
Um, and fiat has just stripped art out of pretty well everything. And there's a lot of reasons for that. Um, but, you know, now that we're putting up these box homes and these basic, uh, that, you know, th- buildings that have no character and, and products that, that have no character, um, the artist's role and sort of the connection with the magical and the divine has been pulled out and, 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 and significantly reduced in the world. And, uh, I just wanted to do whatever I could to really bring that back. Um, and then, you know, knowing about Bitcoin along, and once I kind of started to begin, uh, getting into economics and, and, and understanding money and, and understanding Bitcoin better, I realized that, you know, the, the real reason, um, that the magic was being killed in the world is because the money is broken, um, and that we are having the value of our time stolen. And so adding Bitcoin, you know, the mission that, that Bitcoin seeks to complete into the work was just sort of the perfect match of the kind of two philosophies I was carrying, um, and so now, you know, moving into the future, like I, my goal really is to break in the fine art world as Madex, um, and then the root and the story of every single piece that goes out there, um, it all leads back to Bitcoin. Um, so like my, my dream would be that people discover Madex art, you know, in a gallery somewhere, um, and they love the artwork and because of their love of, uh, of the work, they begin to investigate it more. They begin to investigate the art studio more, um, and that leads them, them to Bitcoin, I think that we like we need to send the signal, send the message, and and that's my goal with Madex is to kind of um, be sort of a, a, a Trojan horse for for Bitcoin information, and then also um, to make an attempt to return the world to an appreciation of objective beauty. So, those are good goals, without a doubt, um, and. It, like I said, I, I just can't say enough about your art. I, I've been watching you for well, ever since 2022 uh, on Twitter and watching your posts, and I encourage everybody to follow Madex and watch his stuff. One thing I do want to go over with the short amount of time we have left is earlier you mentioned NFTs. They're like ICOs. Could you just explain that real quick? Well, so the ICO, like the scammers, basically they had um, their new like buzzword lock, uh, which which we all remember from back then. But basically the goal of the ICO was to create um, create a copy of Bitcoin and then go and propose it to some company like Amazon or any other kind of major corporation in the space and get a uh, headline, a news headline that... Um, X giant corporation was um, thinking about uh, working with this particular coin. Um, and that that was like the absolute best thing that these scammers could achieve. Um, they were able to leech off of the credibility of an existing brand in the corporate space um, to drive speculation uh, on, on their casino product, their scam product. Um, And then that only worked for so long uh, before corporations wised up and realized that, okay, so this blockchain technology is no different than, you know, a database. In fact, it's more complex and completely redundant. Um, So then they were no longer willing to kind of play that game. They were in this phase of sort of investigating and being curious about it. So then the scammers had to find a new mark and they moved to artists and creatives. Um, So, you musicians and filmmakers and, and, and artists, uh, like painters. And, uh, the pitch was sort of the same, you know, you want to be ahead of the game on this new technology. It's going to change the world. It's all this stuff. And they leech then from the artist's base brand, their existing credibility as a filmmaker or a musician to produce a scam project. Good enough. Hey, Maddox, Maddox, I want to thank you for coming on the show. I really appreciate your time. I've enjoyed the conversation completely, and I look forward to uh, seeing you soon. I'm sure I have not run into you anywhere since 2022, but I'm sure we're going to run into each other somewhere. Thanks again, and everybody stay tuned right after this break. We'll be right back after this break from a word of our sponsor. 
Thanks. 